Hi, this is Doc Mountain. If it's your first time visiting this channel, I welcome you and I urge you to go ahead and hit on the subscribe button so that anytime I happen to post any video, you happen to be notified and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Well, without any further ado, let's get into things. Ah, so in our lesson today, our focus will be on the geometric mean. So what is the geometric mean? The geometric mean is simply a middle term within a geometric progression. If let's say we have three terms, A, B, and C, we have these three terms. This term here in the middle is actually the geometric mean. So now, in a case where it has an, its, its value has an angular, how would you determine the geometric mean? Well, that's what we are here to look at. How you can determine the value of the geometric mean if the values of these two terms have been given. So now, remember, when you are resolving the common ratio of a geometric progression, we say R denotes the geometric, uh, that is the common ratio rather. So we say the second term, in this case, this is the second term, that's the first term. The second term divided by the first term is equal to the second term divided by the first term. In this case, when we pick on these two, this will be the first term, that will be the second. So now we can cross multiply so as to get rid of the fractions. So B will be multiplied by B. We have B squared, which is equal to A times A, that's A C. So that if we want to determine B, which is the geometric mean in this case, and I say we have to find the root of that, so that and that will cancel, we have B is equal to. Therefore, we can say the geometric mean of A and C is found by finding the the root of the product of A and C. Okay, so now with this still fresh in your mind, let's look at this example. The same find two possible values for the geometric mean of 5 and 20. Now you don't need to get confused when they say find the two possible values. Here, the answer will actually be a positive and a negative, meaning they are two values. So in this case, let's bring out this one. We have 5 and we also have a 20. What they want us to determine is the geometric mean. So now what I'm going to do is I'll say let the geometric mean equal to x. So here, I will actually indicate x. That's the geometric mean. So now how do you determine this one? I will do what I just demonstrated here. So the second term over the first term, so in this case, this is the second term, that's the first term, is equal to, we are going to consider this two. This is the second term, that's the first term. So from there, we can now cross multiply. x will be multiplied by x, that will be x squared, which is equal to 5 times 20, that would be 100. From there, now we can find the root of this number and that one. So that and that will, will cancel and we are going to have x is equal to the root of the 100 is actually a 10. So here we have to indicate the moment you introduce that, indicate plus or minus. So the geometric mean therefore is actually a negative 10 or a positive 10. That's how we actually solve for the geometric mean of a geometric progression. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, for the sake of locating it, for the sake of getting elated whenever I happen to go live or post a video on mathematics or physics and chemistry, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you happen to be alerted anytime I do so. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.